We are taking you to church in this week's People and Places, but this house of worship in Martin County is unlike any you've ever seen. I spoke with the family who built the church and their message behind. Take a drive down just about any rural road in eastern North Carolina, and you'll see many family cemeteries along the way. But there's one cemetery just north of Oak City that's sure to catch your eye. They look right at that church and pull over to the side and get out and take pictures. The church is only about 10 feet tall, built by Council Smith in his family cemetery. You'd be surprised uh, the people that stopped by and asked me about the church in the cemetery. Needless to say, I stopped and asked plenty of questions, like why build the mini church? The Smiths say it all started when they built their home just next door. My husband is a carpenter, and after he built this house for us, he had material left over. I had a little bit left over, and uh, uh, thank God for allowing me, giving me the strength to build a house. He's a jack of all trades. He loved to do things, so he just decided to build a little church and put it out there in the graveyard. He blessed me to have a vision of, of uh, building a church and putting it in a cemetery. But the church isn't the only thing that grabs your attention. Council says a sign from God moved him to share this message. It's an earthly story with heavenly meaning. Church door closed due to a rapture. Sinner, you are too late. So it's no repentance after the grave. Now's the time to get your soul right for heaven. A deacon at his full-size church, council decided to use the miniature church and the sign to preach the gospel to others. Amen. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's what it's all about. I'm saved and I pray the Lord that when I get to heaven, I'll be able to see you and many others. Amen. Until then, Council and his wife sit back at their home and watch as so many curious drivers stop for a closer look. Every time I see somebody stopping, I walk on the porch and see if they're going to come and ask me who built it. <laughs> well, I know they're going to laugh at me, but I'm the pastor of that church. <laughs> How big is the congregation? Well, the congregation is only 13 people in the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> they're very attentive when you speak, huh? Amen. <laughs> As for the family cemetery where that church stands, council says his father, grandmother, and several aunts and uncles are buried there, and it's where he, his wife, and his children will be buried too. If you have a unique person or place you think we should feature on People and Places, we'd love to hear from you. Send me an email to kwatling at wnct.com or connect with me on my Twitter or Facebook accounts.